Electrical engineering being the fourth hardest college program is a trivial fact. In this new setting, the online learning platform, students were expected to utilize sagacity in managing their time and organizing tasks on a daily basis. We must responsibly weigh our priorities, set and achieve goals while creating a balance between hard work and leisure. Now, how do we do it? Presenting The Steves Episode 5, A Day in the Lives of Our Electrical Engineering Students. Hello everyone, good morning. <gasps> Wait a minute! Okay. What? Normal kung gising 7.30, pero dahil may presentation kami ngayon sa company para sa OJT. Kailangan natin mag-prepare. Ganto expectation kapag na engineer na ako. Papatak na lang sa akin yung pera. <laughs> yeah, boy. Gusing tayo sa katotohanan. Walang gano. No? No? <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, nabasa ko sa GC namin na mamaya pa daw kami 1pm magpe-present. Kaya, ang gagawin ko ngayon, gagawa ko ng journal. Yung nakalagay sa journal namin, kung ano yung mga ginawa namin sa OJT for the month of August. So, ang next ko naman gagawin, dahil tapos na ako sa journal, magre-review ako ng script ko para sa presentation namin later. Mag-11 na. So, magsasangag na ako ng kanin kasi wala na akong ginagawa. Ang mag-isa pala ako dito sa bahay, so ako yung nagluluto mga bes. Wala akong kasama. Yan, so wala ang mama at papa kasi. Tatrabaho sila sa ibang lugar. And wala akong kapatid, so ako lang. Masaya naman mag-isa. What? Dina! Tapos para sa ulam ko. Hipon. Galing ito sa mga mami, sa tita ko. Iinit ko na lang siya. Okay, natapos na ako magluto. 12 pa lunch namin, so intay lang tayo ng konti. Magto-12 na, so mag-lunch mag out na ako sa portal namin. done. Yan. So, nakapag-time in na ako and nagpalit na rin ako ng damit para sa presentation. Ang ginagawa ko nila ngayon, nag-aantay kami ng link para sa Zoom. Okay, magpa-present na kami. Mas Zoom meeting na kami. Kita ba? Tapos na kami mag-present. Hindi pa naman tapos, pero yung ibang ka-group ko na ngayon yung nagpe-present. Done! Tapos yung approved topic, iti-shot na lang daw ng, ano, ng supervisor namin, si Jesus. Okay na, I'm done na sa OJT kasi hanggang 5pm lang yung duty namin. Kapag time out na ako, nagawa ko na lahat, nakapagpasa na ako ng daily journal. And ang next agenda for today ay yung IEE MBDSC. International Electrical Nakalimutan ko, shit. Wait. Tinignan ko. International Energy and Electricity Market Business Decision Simulation Online Competition. Ayan. So, ganito yung tsura niya, mga bes. 
here, makikita mo yung decisions na ibang mong kagroup. Ito yung sakin. Tapos, ito yung kay Kier. Ito yung leader namin, si Kier. Tapos, ito yung kay Marvin. And then, kay Baby Karen. Ito yung nag-iisang third year sa group namin. After nung nakaalat na time namin para sa competition, ang gagawin ko na lang, mag-check na lang ako ng mga GC if ever much. May mga proposal kasi kaming ipapasa pa. Yung thesis namin on standby, sana ma-accept. If mar and, ayun, this is my routine as a fourth year student. I hope you enjoy your day with me. And sana next time nung kita-kita tayong lahat, engineer na tayo. As I open my eyes in the morning, I'm making myself ready to do my morning routine like organizing my bed, washing my face, toothbrush, having my breakfast, and making myself ready for the class. During class hours, it is essential to focus and jot down the most important details. Having key points will help you to remember right away the topics that have been discussed. You can easily access and remember the topics when you needed to review them. You will also have an idea what part you are struggling to deal with and you will know what part you should be focused on. Jotting down will make you notice the vague information and this will help you to know what part you should review more. Time management is always needed at all times. Having enough time to do the activities is important. There are times that activities cannot be finished right away, so it is essential if you start doing it and have a progress gradually. class also has its own kind of circumstance and the stability of internet connection is commonly the problem of each student. After all, don't lose hope and always look for a silver lining. Having a healthy body is essential and refreshing our mind after doing a certain task is a must, most especially when the tasks are overwhelming and results to make the brain cells feel the tension. We can do a lot of things to refresh our mind depends on what we love to do. And my own kind of mind refresher are having time to bond with my family and having fun with my little brother which serves as my relaxation and creates happiness for me. Doing the household chores makes my body to function well which serves as an exercise also and helping my mother doing the task in our home makes the brain cells be relaxed in a way that it involves more on physically. Somehow I also love listening to music. It is our choice on how we can be able to achieve a healthy body and a healthy living. It is not only on what we do, but also on what we intake. That's why eating healthy foods like fresh vegetables is highly recommended for all of us at all times, not only with this time of pandemic. Hi everyone, I'm Trisha May A. Bautista from BSEE Section 3103. Oh, This pandemic serves to everyone as a great challenge. We are not on the same boat. Some are sailing under yet. So I hope everyone has the courage to spread love and kindness, knowing that we have our own personal battles in life. Keep on praying because nothing is impossible with God. That would be all. Thank you. God bless and have a nice day. Alexa, play music. Here's Spotify. Hello everyone. My day starts at 5 a.m. just like any other person. So once I get out of my bed, I head out to the washroom, wash my face, have my toothbrush, and fix my bed. And in this time of pandemic, we should be safe. So every morning, I prepare my tea, which is made from ginger, honey, and lemon juice, and I'm using hot water. It is good for our lungs, in work, it 
can cure our cold and cough and it boosts our immunity. We should be protected from COVID-19. So I advise everyone to practice protective measures because we don't know what might happen if we got this virus. This is my kind of breakfast, in where I check my social media accounts while eating pandesal or bread. I also check if I have emails, requirements, or subjects needed to look onto. Also, to let our blood circulate more, I prepare for my workout. I take half bath and wear my jersey, for I am going out for cycling. Regular cycling stimulates and improves my heart, lungs, and circulation reducing the risk of cardiovascular diseases. This is also my way to brighten up my mind and bring positivity to my morning. The sceneries I see and the adventures I take makes me escape my problems and helps me think of good things in life. It is better also to take breaks and do the things that makes you happy. Make time for yourself. It helps you meditate and get ready for online class and workload of requirements. Daddy, chill. So after this, I take a bath already and fix my things to prepare for online class. I organize first my things because I can concentrate if things are scattered in my room. I'm easy to get distracted and lose focus while studying online, so I make sure that things are placed and set. Staying organized is also taking down notes while in class. There would also be facts that may not be included in the module, and writing notes will help you remember lessons better. Also, writing your requirements and things to do will help you remember what task should be finished. So hello Red Spartans, I am Marvin Luigi Bibidi. I don't like where this is going. Are you single? Nice. An electrical engineering student from 2105. And those are the things that I do in order to prepare for our online class. It's always a process of positive changes. So don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. From here on forward, all the best from my heart to yours, Spartans. Always remember that every chance presents a choice. So gain courage and step forward. Thank you and see you soon, guys. God bless. Hi there, my name is Keisha and I'd like to give you a look at the day in my life as a college student. Just like other students, I hadn't planned taking my course fully online. But, I quickly found out that it was totally fun and doable once you get organized and know your responsibilities for each day. So Spartans, follow me along to this vlog to see what a day in my life looks like. Mornings in our home sometimes feel like a movie. I've gotten into such a routine that it seems each day is the same old thing. Every morning, I wake up at 6.30 a.m., fix myself, and getting a glass of coffee as a day starter. I can confidently say that my life has indeed changed. I am a freshman in college, and this is not how I was planning to spend my college year. Every day, I wake up and go to online school and my class usually begins at 7 a.m. in the morning. I study independently in my room because such study periods occur multiple times throughout my day. It gives myself enough time to understand each lesson. I also pay attention in the class so whenever my teacher calls my name for a recitation, I am well prepared. When it comes to making my notes, I prefer using Canva. Better notes will help me remember concepts, develop meaningful learning skills, and gain a better understanding of a topic. 
My notes are neatly organized, summarized, and easy to review. That is because of Canva. It is okay that you acknowledge a lot on your place. Um, I mean, it is okay to feel busy. It is okay to feel exhausted. It is okay to do many things in just a short span of time. Did you know that the great thing that we can do about it is to create a plan? A weekly plan, a daily plan, or whatever suits you. Because with this, um, it can help us to stay on track and focus on things that are more important. You don't have to justify taking breaks. If you want a break, then let it happen. Everyone see the rest. Because this is where you can reflect and think about the things you want in the near future. As a student, this is something that we all need. We need rest. So that after we rest, we can begin again. That's all for today. See you all soon. God bless. We now had a glimpse of what it is like to be an electrical engineering student in the different year levels. Were you able to learn from their lifestyle? A perfect life isn't any real. However, we can make efforts to live our lives in a way it could be a step closer onto perfection.